hello from Kaluga guys. I have just arrived and I'm going to show you the surroundings. Here is written Kaluga. And as always in Russian towns here somewhere is a bus station bus like for suburban buses for inner buses somewhere here this is the railway and we are heading for the center of the town. Let's go. Almost no leaves. One or two, three left. Autumn in its size and shape. It is not sunny today. I'm happy that it is not raining. Of course, this town is not far away from Moscow, so it also like a town of uh, central Russia so the weather here is like in Moscow so in Moscow in the morning was the same weather without sun it's quite cold about zero degrees and actually I saw Somebody asked me about the weather in November in Russia. I may say about the central region that the weather is cold and November is like not the prettiest month because It is always rainy and like nasty weather. So I'm going to the city center as I have already mentioned. Not so many buildings, but you may see like pieces of architecture of the oldest part not from the oldest, but from old part of the town. And once again, advertising, advertisements on buildings. It is like a housing building. If you have watched my videos about my life in Krasnodar or my trip to Yelets town you may remember that in such towns there are so many advertisements on buildings so here is like uh, goods for sport for doing sport This is a pharmacy. So that's it. On my way to the center of the city, I ran into this train like it was in the Soviet period of time. So Let's have a look. 
which is so huge. Like the dimension, the height of this wheel is like my height. And I'm one meter sixty two centimeters long. So that's it. And some hosing this one, this one, typical one. And this one. I'm so in love with traveling. I wish I had more free time to visit different small Russian and not only small towns and see everything with my own eyes and share with you. So I'm so happy that today I'm here actually. I was in Kaluga like two years ago. So I remember how everything here is located. So I'm really happy and I want to share my happiness and my joy today with you. So positive vibes to your country, to your city. So and I continue going and continue showing you the surroundings here is a trolley look it is pretty pretty old in Moscow you can't see such trolley this is a kind of theater I guess This is shoes shop, so here you may buy shoes. Some coffee. How do you like the atmosphere? You know, many Russian towns seem to be quite depressive, especially when it is autumn or winter, because they are gray and you may feel like you are in the middle of nowhere <laughs> but in summer they look like better I guess right now in this town live around 300,000 people and the history of this town dates back to the year 1371 so that's it and we are going further pretty old buildings this building with two floors
this is a theater. Pretty old part of the town. Really cute. Three hundred thousand people. It is not considered to be the small town. It is like probably middle. Small town. It is where my friend lives. It is around 5,000 people, so her town where she lives right now is small. And I continue my strolling. Here you may buy bread, probably. We may have a look. And also one fact about towns in Russia, that in such places not everywhere credit cards are accepted so you need to have cash and I don't have it with me so no bread for today from this local shop <coughs> oh, sorry la, 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 la. моя любовь к тому чтобы ходить пешком обязала меня купить термос, термобелье и много прочих радостей.